Was he a bad man? Top fucking people. Or was he just well, a he pulled He pulled knives out of me twice. We've had fights. We had really? fights. Oh, really? fuck, I remember a time when he pulled out a bread knife out in school at me. I thought, oh, what, what, what have I fucking done to you, Jason? I'm just a mate. Pulled out this knife and I remember I had to run around the school and then grab a stiletto. <laughs> Is it stiletto? <laughs> Oh, uh, um, it can be. I just <laughs> grab the nearest Sorry, woman. Sorry, this is my drag queen. <laughs> grab that shoe. Killer Keller. Killer Keller. Official com. You need the Keller Vision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the app store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Fox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Ladies and have a Killer Keller Podcast live and direct central London or central as you need to be. Should be, could be, want to be, care to be. Um, big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Hold tight to all the regulars, people who've got the app. You know what time it is. Big shout out to a strain station as well. Um, inside the house. <laughs> we have a legend. Do without question. Uh, a man from the 80s onwards, aspiring from uh, graffiti, hardcore street activities and trains activities right through to contemporary art and more. UBG. Say it again. UBG. SBS. It's it. UA. He goes by the name of Don. Don. And right. <laughs> dude, 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 dude. How you doing, this dude? Is, this is that WWF Fucking moment hell. that we all dream of. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Don inside the place, come on. Peace. Uh, do you explain, why have you got your, your mask on? <sighs> well, I'm going to uh, hit some trains and uh, <laughs> some track sides later <laughs> with Robin. That's what I'm going to do. No, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to take this shit off. <laughs> Fuck it now. Oh, if I'm going to do it. Just one of those great moments of the if time. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Come how's on, the, my guy. How's the hair? How's my, how's my hair? You're looking gorgeous, babes. You're okay. looking gorgeous, darling. How's my 50th the... coming up soon. 50 years young. <gasps> Thank you. Congratulate everyone. Raise a glass to that. And uh, tippy oh. tippy, here we go. Uh, thank you. To use, uh, yes, I am drinking, ladies and gentlemen. This is very few and far between, but you understand. Me and Donna, I've got a lot of conversations to be had. I'm going to say the classic. Needs must. <laughs> I've got to say, well done with the interviews earlier on. I cannot wait. But I'm not going to say anything, <sighs> but well done. Those guys, I love them. I absolutely love these people. Yeah, for them that know, Donna, it's coming on the show. You know it. Yeah, and it's uh, <laughs> yeah. three... Amigos. <laughs> three amigos. <laughs> the three, the three, three bad man. Three. Well, we the do three. have a lot of, there's a lot of lineage that we and we must go through because we've got to big up a lot of people because, yes. we're, we're, we, you know, we've obviously met before, but there's, there's lineage within our friendships and circle spaces, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, firstly, big up flute box Lee all day. Oh, absolutely. Uh, just love that gentleman, Nathan. It, it, what a talent. and uh, Lovely, lovely man. You know, it's uh, he's been really busy. He's got two beautiful children now, mm. and uh, and caught up with him in praise, uh, Vandals for Life, uh, who's amazing uh, mm. violinist, and uh, saw those guys perform all things musical. Mm. Uh, really, really beautiful with the flute. Uh, you know, with the the beatboxing, uh, praises uh, uh, violin skills. Mm -hmm. It's actually you know, music is such a it's such a beautiful thing. Yeah. And, and with art and music, and I just want to say mm. to you, I've, got, I've been doing so much research on you, man. I just want to just literally take my bowler back, banker hat off to you. I mean, you're what you do, dude. I mean, oh. the people you played with. Uh, oh, thank you, brother. No, thank really, you. it really is, uh, it is amazing. And uh, please, research. Mm. Killer Keller, mm. uh, Wikipedia, the, the artist uh, that this uh, amazing guy has performed with, it, it is something else. Oh, thank you, brother. So I'm, I mean, I, I'm honoured to be here, oh, for being us, interviewed by you. Listen, your name has come up so many times. On the on the show, and 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 furthermore, um, like I say, every friend, person I come across, acquaintance, your name, uh, it, it's it's intrinsic within the tapestry of what this show is yeah. about, which oh, is this beautiful, word. For, especially from 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 an international point of view as well, because you're you're, yeah. you're widely renowned, you know, um, UA, come on, you know. Oh well, I finally. I've... 
Yeah, I finally got there. <laughs> and it was interesting, the story I said to you earlier on about mm. that with, uh, with with Duster, you know, coming, do, 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 yeah. Yeah, coming across uh, uh, him on, on Facebook. And here you go, we've got a beautiful artist, amazing artist that we all look up to, uh, a tattooist, and mm. he's in L.A., and he's it's, it's, it's his time. Mm. And uh, we managed to start you know, communicating. And he was up for coming over uh, to London and uh, meeting everybody here. I said, well, there's so many people here to, to, to see you. and, and They would you. lose their shit, pretty much. They really were. And we they all could, offload. Yeah, and, and it's a wonderful order. Uh, uh, lovely Phil uh, managed to collaborate with him, with Mace. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, from the... From the gallery and uh, London Miles Gallery, and there, and I needed some help. Mm -hmm. This is what I was saying to you earlier on about what you do here, and it's just like, wow, you're just an engine here of what, what you do, and uh, and that's what I needed. I needed a, a guy that was a, a curator. Yeah. So Phil came on, uh, and his wonderful brother Virus mm -hmm. as Old well. Type. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Virus, and we'll talk about RT and mm -hmm. GFS later because. Yes. Um, and, and basically, you know, we created this, this, uh, uh, machine, like I was saying, and we got, uh, dust over and it was a great day. Mm -hmm. We had him for a week. We had, uh, Rome ACR looking after him. Mad. All in the, this side of things. Cause I couldn't put, <laughs> I couldn't put I don't Duster. know what you're talking about. Not on this podcast. I don't know about all this. In a hotel. <laughs> it'd be like you said that he and this I'm, I'm going to take with me. I'm going to take this one because you're right. He's the Steve McQueen. He's of A's graph. He really uh, is. Yeah. Dude. In the eyes of a, I think a thirteen. Uh, I mean, Subway Art came over us when we started seeing yeah. like photographic evidence of what was going on in New York, mm. and uh, and then to kind of like put us straight. Uh, of uh, you know the Bible, but mm. before that, it was just our arrows flying out left, right, and center. And mm. you know, in time, we would have developed a nice star, you know, which yeah. we did, and we had a London star in the end uh, mm. uh, of it. Uh, and uh, thanks to Zaki and uh, Chrome Angels all day. and all, all, all that influence, a bit older, state of art, no limit, <laughs> a bit more creative, yeah, yeah. Or... yeah. Uh, they, they, they could sort of steer us in the right direction. Uh, seeing Zaki's piece on uh, our Barnesbridge station. That was pre... pre. I bet that was like first sight. Well, it really was, man. Oh. It was just just incredible. Mm. Just uh, it's pre-Subway art. Mm. and uh, So we we're making it up as we go along. So we had the Bible come over. And when you saw Duster mm. then in there with his girlfriend, a broken arm, it's like... Fucking hell, I want to be like you. God, that's cool. You are cool. You've got a girlfriend, you're having sex, and you... I'm just a young kid. <laughs> yeah. I haven't lost my virginity yet. You're having sex. <laughs> what the fuck? Right. And you broke your arm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny, but when <laughs> he came over... No seriousness, yes, please. Sign me up, man. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, like, as and I would have been... It's 10 years ago now, uh, 40, you know, and then just seeing him come through. The Lord, yeah. Terminal 5, oh. or wherever. I think it was Terminal 5 yeah. or something, with one that comes from, uh, you know, from, from America, with a limp, mm. with a fucking hold all. Mm. Fucking, mm. on Valium. Mm. He didn't come mm. down for two days. Yeah. thought, we got dust in now after yeah, yeah. two days. I thought, oh, yeah, this feeling. is it. You're in London, we're doing a show, yeah, yeah. and we fucking love you. Yeah. And uh, Rome had a nice, like, carpentry workshop, so we started restretching his canvases, and it was all ready. And then thanks to, like, fucking London Miles, like, Phil came through and saw the, uh, how promising and, uh, you know, how... You know how this is. This this is going to be good one. Yeah. This is going to be a good one. Yeah. And people are saying, "Paul, you're fucking crazy. No one's going to pay twenty five pounds for a ticket to go." You know, people are like, "I thought now yeah. they are. They're going to see Believe a one that. off, a, a goodie bag. You know, just yeah, yeah just tailored and caboodle. Yeah, yeah, make it, made it, made a show up, and and people did it. And uh, Robbo was there, bless him, and he was taking a piss out of me left, right, and centre as he does. He was fucking brilliant. Standard stuff in it. Oh, that's standard. one gentleman I've never met. I'd oh, love to have met him. Fucking. Yeah. Oh, Oh, loved that guy, and and I it was I, I more than met you know the the wee hot rock hard and mm. uh, crew a little bit later so really. Age old type. Yeah, and um um and and he was there, and that was really 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 beautiful, and and me and me and us was there. Loads of people were there. That's she awesome. was there. Zombie was there. Mm. We were we all had a really good time, and um 
And so, yeah, we got dust over it. And then he said he put, he, he put me in the crew UA and he put Rome in it. He put a few, he even put Robbo in it. Uh, but they're, they're oh. tight London crews, so yeah. they're always, always going to be about, it was a courtesy and, and then put Doe's in it. So it's a bit of a UA oh, wow. family. Yeah. And Pac as well. Pac was dealing with the website and doing all the, you know, made it so beautiful mm. online. Uh, um, all the, all the, 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 sort of like the vector art and just mm. made it look like, mm. you know, it's a good, well, Pack is an incredible mm -hmm. illustrator, so it, it, I just said, "You got style." And the, Pack was the man back in the day. I mean, he pulled out characters. Anyone who knows, like Tram, Cry School, even Ganja, used to just look at Pack's characters and think, "How the fuck does he do?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we yeah, got yeah, each yeah. other through school, actually. Pack and I, we used to just he used to do illustrations of all the teachers. <laughs> <laughs> We had our art thing, <laughs> great. and we got ourselves through school. At least we kind of went to school. Yeah. We had a, uh, but anyway, Pac um, did, did the online stuff, and um, but we ended up taking that to Holland as well, uh, to the Milk Wag. You took it to Holland as well. Yeah, yeah. So not just London. You went. We went to Holland, the, the Milk Wag, which is. Mm. Do you know the venue Amsterdam? It's a, it's a big venue. It's, it's quite. Yeah, a I've big heard of it. Music. I've heard of it. I've played Amsterdam a couple of times. I think. <sighs> uh, I think it's a great. Um, Amsterdam's a great entry hole for that side of Europe where it's there's a cross culture of Americanism that is really rife over there, isn't it? It's this kind of bypass London in a funny sort of way. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Go straight it's to there. It's strange. Yeah. I think what it was is there's like, like the art curators, and there was a bit of money there, and they would uh, throw it into the art. So they ended up just swinging, like getting people from America straight over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm not dissing London at all. I mean, it had it, it had its amazing, amazing. Yeah, scene. PR it's wise, it does. Yeah, it's, epicenter yeah, yeah, it's of lots right. of things. Uh, but you're right. But the Dutch collectors are really into the art, and mm. uh, and uh, I think that's why you know Don D and all those. Mm. Uh, you know, it's been uh, recorded and documented many times. But so, so we did the Meltweg and a lot of DDS and 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 the crew. And I remember they you came know, through as well. Envy. We we all went there. They were actually wow. doing something else, but it was the same weekend. Mm. Um, so they, they 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 came by and uh, who who was there again? I mean again from uh, uh, from from Holland and uh, Pshu, I think popped in and right. Delta popped in to see Dust. Of course, because he's he's Amsterdam, isn't he? He's, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So Delta's really a bad man. Yeah, yeah. She was a, it was a night thing, but yeah. Dust I fucking loved it, yeah. and I left him there. <laughs> Literally left him there. Of course I you did. <laughs> That's oh, one less oh, bag I've got to send you around to your hotel. <laughs> you started fucking engineering some bud and stuff. I don't know. He ended up, I think it was something called Dust a Bud, bud or something. He ended up fucking going. going I fucking like love it. Oh. See ya, Duster. See ya. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> got your a, flight home, yeah? Just I did have an anchor. I had my fucking five, four. I think my four year old with me. Oh, good. Solid. I remember Duster teaching my son how to count in the back of the car. He went, one, two, three. <laughs> I've just, just got memories of that. You must oh. have had an outer body moment from that point of him walking through the, the airport. And I mean, yeah, it's just oh, like, you know what I mean? It, it must was. have blown your mind, yeah. It was, he had a slight limp and he was coming through. And I just thought, this is fucking yeah. New York yeah, coming yeah. To, yeah, yeah, to, yeah. to London, you know. Yeah. Uh, do you think he got his just deserves? Do you think he got? Do you do you really think he had his? He's he's had the flowers. He because you know and and all health and prosperity to seen by the way. Who yes, you, you know, know he's still in hospital. For, yes, God you know, Father, which yeah. hopefully by the time he watches this, he he won't be. Uh, yes, but uh, I do feel like you know there are certain contemporaries within the same field that that really should be, you know. Have you were saying flowers. that, yeah, and mm. we were saying that, and this is why I did it because uh, the world stage is 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 there for Duster, and it and it is, and he's a fine artist, mm. literally a fine artist, mm. and he takes it to another level, and uh, and he's such a kind and he's such a humble guy. So his time is 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 continuous. Mm. It, he's there and he's not going anywhere, and he's, it's lovely to see his Instagram. You know, he's on social media and he's doing his things, and he's got his boat, and he's in, mm. you know, Pelham Park. Bay, you know, where he's, 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 he's hanging. I'm talking about you, Dusty. You might end up seeing this. But we had good times and we'll do some more more good times. It's really nice. To, it's really nice to, you know, the, the pedigree and, you know, for those that you're stepping into the, the arena of Don at the moment, you know, there's, there's uh, lineage and pedigree there. Uh, you know, a gentleman that 
it started in the early 80s. Um, well, it started in 86 and it finished in 86. That's still early I enough. I think that's what it... That's still early enough for me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just brilliant. I've got this train here. I've got to mention yard goods. If you're the... listening and not watching, there is a beautiful... Uh, well, it's just a it's a model it's a model train with uh, some heavy duty Don Ganja um, artist. Um, it's it's our first. Piece. It's our my first train with uh, uh, Ganja in Gloucester, and it's my we got no photographs. Yeah. BTP have got them. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't savvy enough to say, look, you got evidence on us. I need to see what it is you're charging yeah, us yeah. for. I would have got some shitty Polaroid photographs of it, basically. Yeah. But I thought I'd bring this anyway to, to talk about... Uh, uh, I've got about six of these that I've painted. I thought this is the one mm. that will be, you know, in my you know life as a memorable moment. I, If I had the tenacity and fucking guts to go and do it, I would have done lots and lots of this. But mm. I think, you know, it was, it, it, it was a good time. Basically, it was my first train. I got busted... The yeah, let's get into time. this. So, so yeah. we've, got the, we've got the model here. We haven't got the photo. So let's get into yeah. the story of it. How did, how did this uh, whole car and floater, if I might add, of, of Ganges? Uh, yeah, it was beautiful. I remember like piece. looking over, and he would, he started doing the slanted blockbuster, and I went, "Fucking hell, that's 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 a lot." Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's really challenging because you've got to get it really right, yeah. really. You know, if it yeah. goes wrong, it goes wrong. And yeah, yeah, um, yeah. but I just did a splayed out one, and it was very typical of the time, really. Uh, Ganja was a very close friend of us. I mean, our affiliation was would have been a, a couple of years. Uh, Ganja was doing a lot of stuff with Shun and Ruff, uh, 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 and and then, but Ganja did was uh, he really he was a people person, <laughs> and. And really, you know, he, he would put he would put himself about really, mm -hmm. and 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 that's why there's so many stories with with Ganja with amazing steam uh, mm -hmm. that's been on, Legend, yeah. uh, oh, you know, boy. chain, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you know, you know, grand. The, all these people are all going to have the amazing stories mm -hmm. because Jason made a point of fucking hanging around mm -hmm. with the top. Was he a bad man? Top fucking people. Or was he just well, a he pulled He pulled knives out of me twice. We've had fights. We had really? fights. Oh, really? fuck, I remember a time when he pulled out a bread knife out in school. I mean, I thought, oh, what, what, what have I fucking done to you, Jason? I'm just a mate. Pulled out this knife and I remember I had to run around the school and then grab a stiletto. <laughs> Is it stiletto? <laughs> Oh, uh, um, it can be. I just grab the nearest <laughs> Sorry, woman. Sorry, this is my drag queen. <laughs> grab that shoe. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. Um, no, no, no. It's such a drag. But, yeah. I'm a drag. Drag it. No, what is it? What is it? The thing, it's switchblade. No, yes. what's the thing? It just you press a button yeah. and it pops out. Flick, anyway, yeah, flick, it didn't really work. Well, it didn't work. Fuck, it's not working. <laughs> it didn't really work. It's still flicked out, but the thing is, it was... Uh, it was going to go, it was going to retract back in. So it wasn't like a proper one. Yeah, yeah. Like it was, uh, was uh, dis dismantled. Man. It was terrible, man. Some it was really bad. Games. Jason and I, we must have had three, three in incidents. Uh, but it, was, it was, I wouldn't say love and hate. It was just like we were 13, 14 year olds mm. and we were finding our way. And he was a, probably, a, he was a bad man. Mm -hmm. He was fucking, you know, I remember some stories. And I'm, we talked about it before, I think. I've, you know, we, you know, we, we got fucking a, uh, you know, Sundance, you know, Ravens Court Park. Mm. Some guys were looking for um, DVA, developer agents, and uh, they thought it was us. As soon as the, I mean, Jason got fucking hit with a, with a stick, with a nail coming through it, he got punctured for the jacket, yeah. And, uh, and as soon as he found out it was Ganja and Don, the sidekick, he fucking just couldn't stop apologising. But really? I think I've mentioned this before. I don't want to repeat myself. But um, he he held uh, the Gravitas man in mm -hmm. in the, in the area in Hammersmith cool and yeah. Grove. I mean, I remember yeah. knocking on Foam's door, uh, and I was said, "Jason, Foam, you know, he's he's not after you, but he's not. You're not getting on at the moment. Why are we fucking knocking mm -hmm, on his mm -hmm. door for?" Foam opened up, and I mean, I was thinking, I just. Jason would always go to the belly of the beast. He was fearless. Yeah, and anyone that, that knows, you know, that knows him knows this. Because Foam was a bad man as well. Like, Foam was... Yeah, got yeah. No try I mean, to... they did, you know, and they, 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 you know, at the end of the day, you know, it was a, it was a growth thing. And, mm. um, 
And uh, but similar stories, but so we were just sort of saying about if Jason was a bad man. I think he was fearless, and uh, he would just he would just just go into things, and uh, and that's what I give him, you know, the respect on where I am anywhere in the graph world. That is, we'll talk about the street art later, or you know mm-hmm. the, uh, yeah. you know, uh, you know, he helped me go into places where I I just probably wouldn't have touched or or, or gone into. Curiously, uh, curiously, and I, I, I want to interject there because. I've, mm. People, there are a lot of people are gonna on face value, on audio audio value. Yes, because you're you're very articulate, well spoken. You, you, oh no, I appreciate you, that. You've I've got st- a lot. You've you've really, and, and I know, I know. You know, for me doing podcasts, a lot of that has to be self taught. You've got to kind of figure your shit out. But to me, I find it uncomprehensible that you w- were in circles such as. And because the lifestyle of graph back then was so, it was like ran parallel with, mm. you know, he, petty to heavier crime. It was a real thing. I can't yeah. imagine you being in those circles. Can't well, imagine. It, 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 it was, I, I don't know. I mean, how are we supposed to look or act? Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes. It, it's one of those. But I suppose I didn't uh, fit into the constraints mm. of... Uh, of that type of boy or man or, you know, uh, back in the day. But I remember, you know, going up to people in uh, Edgware Road saying, oh, do you write? And I remember just people just saying to uh, kids, uh, guys, well, my age, you know, just saying, fucking hell, you sound like a fucking queer. Or you like, really? you know, I used to have a, a lot of that. Until I, you pulled out a couple of shanks and said, give me fucking paint. No, no, it's, <laughs> it's a bit, you know, but the thing is, I, you know, I just... I think the only way I could survive in the game, which I opted to be in, mm. involved in, I mean, I could have just gone off and not swum with. Mm. I I was always, because I, I grew up in uh, Borneo for about three years. I, mm. I, I always found graph and hip hop like a sense of adventure, mm. found it interesting. Oh, I like that. So yeah, it's, yeah, it, yeah. It, it's, it, yeah. it presented itself to me when I was yeah. a thir- 12, 13 years old. And I thought, oh, this is good. This is, this is fucking, this is what I need, you mm. know. I, I love football. I love sports, but uh, you know, and I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm energetic. I'm, I'm into stuff, but I am as clumsy as fuck. I, you know, mm. I could be at the last point at the mm. goal. Mm. I would have got myself there. Mm. My adrenaline would have got me there. Mm. My, my finish would have gone there, mm-hmm. but I would have missed that shot. <laughs> and listen, this is yeah, 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 yeah. And this, <laughs> this, this is the Don we know and love. And uh, you know, and I said to you, I think I said it to you at the exhibition. Oh, the exhibition which we will bring up. Um, I said, and I still hold myself true to this, and when I said it, is you're like the David Lee Roth of the UK graffiti world. <laughs> it's the flamboyancy. I it's like, know it, but yeah. Do yeah. you know what I'm saying? I do know it, yeah. I, I, I know what you say, but David Lee Roth, wow. Yeah. Fuck, is, the diamond, the diamond don. Is, uh, no, it's just, <laughs> do you know what? There's been, there's been a lot of... Sh- uh, a strife. I've had to defend myself. I mean, I've got a lovely story, uh, and I love Chain to Bits. And we, um, um, fucking hell, he's just so amazing. Yeah. I, I love him. <laughs> but we had a first thing in uh, uh, Earl's Court. I remember I was walking down like a uh, with my blue puffer jacket, and 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 I was walking like this, and I probably was walking like a fucking muppet. Like a like a, I was walking down Earl's Court because I'm looking for the train that I never painted. No, joking. I'm looking for the odd tags, the insides. Or I'm a writer on Earl's Court. Sounds like me, to be fair. Like, <laughs> or Baker Street. Or, you Could know, be I'm any just, one of us. Yeah. And I was with the UBG crew, and um, uh, Liza was there, uh, Pack was there, and uh, mm. Imaski was there, and uh, he's an old school don as well. Yeah, and I remember Chain on the and he, Chain. I didn't know Chain, and I just knew. I, I, I obviously knew of him, but I, we all knew. Oh, I knew what he looked like anyway, and he's an old friend, friends with one of. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, and he came up to me, Chain, and I loved it. And uh, he said to me, "What are you walking like that? What are you walking like that for? Yeah, is that all right? Did mm-hmm. I do yeah. okay? Yeah, it sounds good. Did I do all right? Was that convincing? Okay. He said, what "Was you like I was bowling?" Yeah, and I just knew it was Chain. I just went. Mm. Oh, mm. I'm gonna get out of this one. I'm mm. gonna just have to stand up for it. I'm just gonna yeah, get yeah. robbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> just gonna get robbed. The reputation was silent. Yeah. And if I could just cow, and I just thought, oh man, you're fucking tight friends with my my friend. So I just, you know, just had to. Uh, and I don't think he maybe would have, you know, maybe approached me like that. Maybe if he knew me or whatever. But I was probably acting like a cock and on 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 Earl's court in his manner. 
Mm. I was out. You know, I'm a vi- I'm Richmond, so you know anything mm. past Stamford Brook. But hold on, is out of my out of my ends. But hold on, though. yeah, yeah, totally, and I get it. But at the same time, I think to myself, how in a very prime primal kind of way, he's he's the he's the lion. Yeah, he is. And you're the prey, or that, or someone would be the prey. Yeah. I wonder what. Wonder what. This differentiates you from another person. I mean, yeah. obviously, the scenario plays out. But well, I shit myself. You know what I, mean? I shit myself. <laughs> and I, I, no, I just thought, oh, fuck, what am I going to do with this? I'm getting Labrick. Because I, I've had this like, in Labrick Grove and where Pack, uh, I, think, I think I've talked about this before. Sorry if I keep mentioning this because I don't want to repeat myself. But I remember Pack used to get beaten up or just fucking bullied yeah. by his older yeah. brother. Yeah. So he would have been 13, 14, and. and, and uh, his older brother would have been 16. Mm. So Pat was already used to having up older guys mm. giving him a hard time. Mm-hmm. So I remember in uh, Westbourne Park, and um, Pat just went up beefing himself up to guy because we're getting stung. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know if it was Rush, bless right. him, or rest in peace, or, oh, or somebody, yeah, but it was some boy, peace, you know, some guys that were coming yeah. to, to mug us, and, and just fucking went like an incredible Hulk. And then in the end, these guys just said to me, is your mate all right? You know, he just totally turned he it just around. just lost his shit. He just lost his shit, yeah. So it's just like he deflected. So I was kind of all right back in the day in deflecting stuff. Mm-hmm. And with regards to chain, that's all I go, chain, I fucking love you, man. It's just the way it was back in the day. But I had to thought, how am I going to defend myself? So that's what I started doing. It's talking to the whole station. I was caught. <laughs> I just went, this guy is asking me. As a How I'm walking? <laughs> How I'm bowling? What the fuck? I'd seriously, and I remember like Eliza looking. That's just such a going, Bill Murray what? moment. Like, no, uh, just I, just, I thought shit. the only way I can. It's like getting NATO. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, fucking, yeah, 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 yeah. I've got to get everyone. I thought, <gasps> fucking chains about the fucking. Because oh, I, you know, it's a That's reputation. That's such a cool way of doing it, though. Well, and then and then chain asked me to shut the fuck up and be quiet, and then we walked away, and then we met the next day, and uh, mm. and then we just like gave ourselves the fucking fist bumps, and like just said, oh, it's cool. We didn't, didn't, you know, we didn't realize or whatever, or or fucking <laughs> shut up you fuck- oh no we became you know we became mates i didn't really see him much after that but the uh, reason why i can talk about this is because um we're mates we've got mutual friends and uh but i'm just saying like as mates how it was you know it's, mm. it's the front end and and I, I i would never look for trouble i had to try and kind of deflect it and that's mm. how we were saying to me as somebody like myself how did I compete in a in a game that was like, you know, you gotta be you gotta be militant, you gotta be, you know, I don't know what to call it. It's just, it's just fucking you be eating or, yeah, or fight eat. or flight basically. Yeah, it's it, mm. it's it's an interesting one, and uh, you know, and it was it was interesting back there because before telecommunication, you know, you were if you were fucked in the middle of nowhere, you had a telephone yeah, box. Yeah, and that was it. yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Why if you, you had your money taken, then you you're yeah, really, yeah. You're like asking somebody to, you know, can you let me borrow some money or go get home to Barnes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why did why did it? Why why was it? Sorry, in the end, that Graf was so it was it was almost like a magnet, to, appealing. Yeah, to to the criminal that criminal side. I think it trans it it became that uh, in the end, and it could have been. I saw it. I think it was uh, in 80, 80, 80, 80, 85, 86. I think it was just finding its. Mm. Place See, in a thing. Yeah, yeah, you're either into the 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 rapping or the MC mm. or, or or the music aspect or the art aspect or the fashion aspect mm. or the dance aspect, and um, mm. I gravitated to the art aspect, and uh, and I think it was just a natural progression with the thieving, and uh, I mean, look, mm. uh, Jason and I were scoping, uh, you know, and I would I wouldn't go with him, uh, mm. but you know, it was sort of, you know, uh, well. It's, fucking breaking into, uh, mm. you know, paint shops and mm-hmm. stuff and art shops. Uh, but I just swerved that. Mm. Uh, somehow I just, just did that. Mm. Uh, I wasn't going to... I just Partake in that sort of thing. Well, yeah. I would have been a liability, uh, you know, at mm. the end of the day. I, I could just do the racking. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you rack other stuff and that's it. But I think that's as far as it could go. I couldn't mm. then go into the kind of, wow, easy money, let's go into that. It's just something, a little voice just... just Told me to the moral compass suddenly kicked in. I think or so. Yeah. I think so. And I think you know, it was in that, like I said, natural progression that it was always just going to go into something harder yeah. and harder. And then one person gets 
lopped, you're going to lop and you're mm. going to find it easy and you're going to learn the language you're going to... And they're doing it now and mm. I've got a young son that I'm trying to say to him now. Leave it. Yeah. Fucking leave. Just get away from these people right now because it will hold you back. Because I had art. Mm. It was the, it was the if, buffer. If you, uh, yeah, yeah. I had something to claw onto. Mm. And I said to my dad recently, I said, Dad, I said, oh, I'm fucking sorry I was such a pain in the ass back in the day. He said, son, he said... You were just doing, you were writing on walls. It, it wasn't a big deal. It, w it was fine. But I got that where I had to drag him out in the middle of the night to the police station. And that's what I was saying about my mum. Mm. My mum was a police station. My, it was a prison. <laughs> that's why I couldn't really do much. Yeah. I had to get out of the house. From one, from one institution to another, get out of the house. That's the biggest, oh, man. No that's one the knows factor. Story. <laughs> no one knows the story. But this is it. <laughs> I remember G Ganja looking through, right? I mean, I'm sitting in, I'm sitting in, in the front room. Yeah. No one knows this. This is fucking entertainment. This is fucking Go funny. Go on, here we go. She would do it. Yeah. You know, my dad was an engineer. Was an engineer, still is an engineer. And he used to travel abroad. So I'm, I was a mummy's boy. I was a mummy's boy. So I made sure like, things needed getting done. Dad was away. He was earning the money. You know, my mum's my mum's Scottish and she had a, a good upbringing. Sturdy. Mm. You know, maybe it was, you know, it was it was fucking strict, and uh, and and that transferred on on on, on to my like middle class, first generation middle class, mm -hmm. and uh, my parents were you know working class, too. and uh, they could see a slip you know the slippery slope if if it, it if if it came, and uh, so the, my mum was on it, and uh, you know to get out the house, wow. It was a whole different story. So hey. doing whatever <laughs> I got away with, fuck, man, that was hard yeah, work. That's hard in itself, out. yeah. Because it was like, uh, so, so the big story mm -hmm. is, Ding. now we're coming back. <laughs> Eureka! Is that I'm knitting. I'm knitting. What, hat? Stitch knitting? St st needles. Wool. Big up Ashley, you know the knitting crew, you know we do. 13, 14 years old, I see Gunja opposite with Hash looking through the window. At you. And I'm doing this. No. Died. Yeah. <laughs> melted, yeah. melted. Yeah, like like styling it, out, styling it out with the knitting. I know. I know of this. I know of this tour. I know. I think that we've all been there. Like, yeah. That was probably a, a penance or a punishment. Yeah. Knit a fucking 50 foot scarf. I well, don't know. It's a pretty militant stuff. Your mum was just not having any of it. Nah, and she's beautiful, beautiful, I beautiful. I do not woman. doubt that for a second. Uh, no, no. It, and and it, it was just like, and that that was it. And I was just like, it was just, it was just. It was tricky to get up. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. It was just... <laughs> I feel that. No, but, but you know, uh, Graf will never die. No. You'll do, find a way. But yeah, you do find a way. <laughs> but here's the thing, and we're talking in retrospect here, ladies and gentlemen, in hindsight. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't do this at home. Yeah, yeah, go, baby. Do it in the yard. Yeah, yeah. No, joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the joke, isn't it? Yeah, no, exactly. Don't do this at home. Crime don't pay, but neither do they. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Crime don't pay. That's when Duster wrote me. He's written me a thing. He goes when the, uh, the, the courts were asking yeah, him to pay her. You know that, Duster. He sent yeah. it to me. He says, crime don't pay. Wow. It's Duster. It was wow, like wow, a, wow, wow. it's like a bill. It's like a, he sent it to me. It's like a, a like a summons. That shit better be <laughs> framed. That shit better be framed. Yeah, I yeah. know. Oh, I showed wow. you. I take a picture of you. It's brilliant. Quite, yes. You know, there must have been a lot of pressure on you uh, as a young man to get up, also with the conscience that the parents wouldn't like it. Especially to that level. Of, well, they, they see your tag. Uh, they see you. Yeah, they see it. Yeah. Up. You do as a grapher piss in your own backyard, and so they they do end up seeing it. And because uh, you always operate around, this is to my understanding anyway. You already smell the scent of a writer because you know they always target the main central, uh, you know, the, the fault lines of where they live. Yeah. So yeah. they all get hit. So your mum must have been just seeing this. Well, no, I remember spinning, out. like centrifuging my pens. Mm. You know, spinning them, getting the juice out, mm. and just making you know the poster markers and mm. and everything, and uh, the, the smell of you know ink mm. you know God, that's good, i mean it? i remember with ganja and you know the glue sniffing and tipex thinner days that was I mean, a thing as well wasn't it back then and the gas yeah. oh my god 
Jason and I, we used to, it didn't last long for me at all, but, you know, we, plastic bags, right, and then, and 13, kind of thing. you know, we were talking, you know, 80, 84, 85, but it, 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 there was a big thing then with spirits. Yeah. And um, I, I remember just fucking busting down the door, just going, what the fuck are you doing? I can smell, yeah. you know, uh, you know, solvents. Yes, that's right. Solvents. And uh, I just said, spinning my pen out. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm in the 33s mm -hmm. and 37s. <laughs> Got a problem with that? <laughs> it was just a bit embarrassing bombing buses. It should, trains. <laughs> but don't try this at home. <laughs> try it on the trains. No, Sorry, don't do it at all. But there was a thing, wasn't there, about glue sniffing? You know, the yeah, it bags was an era, and, wasn't it? Yeah, well, yeah and I, I've, you know, big up my boy oh. Rob across the road because, you know, we do have these conversations. And to me, it's so alien. It's like, yeah, yeah. Actually, that was a real thing. You'd, go and, you'd run away somewhere for a couple of hours with glue in a bag and you're sniffing it. Uh, That's it's, mad. <laughs> it's just... It's just... Uh, it is another world, uh, you know. War. It, it really war. is uh, to, to, to get a high. But... Uh, but it's interesting. So, so Gandra again. I'm talking a lot about him. We went to Christ School with with Pack and uh, with with Tram. Mm. Uh, it's associated, you know, with the Putney, with Fuel, uh -huh. you know, Rev, right. all, uh, those guys, ITC, you, yeah. Car Cop, and mm. fuck uh, Duke. I want to mention oh, the Duke. Shit. Duke. Now, there's a yeah, 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 ITC yeah. and uh, D WD and uh, YDS as well. Let's we all must also add that you were founding of uh, YDS. We could the yeah. Well, there's chat about this. I mean, Jason and I. We I'm coming back. This is where I hang in before we got uh, uh, before I got uh, done because it didn't stop Jason. He he obviously carried on, but mm. I was in like uh, hibernating then. I was there was a court case, but I remember the uh, the beautiful moment when it was like the desplats or or you know. Know, uh, well, YDS, it was all put in the picture. Mm. And that could have been, you know, that's eight, early 86. Mm -hmm. 80, yeah, 86. And that was starting to get crafted. I was like thinking of a South London, Southwest crew. And, um, but my initiation in that was, uh, it, it was very short. Mm -hmm. But I always hold on to that, that Jason mm. invited me into that. Cool. And, and I was part of that. But that was before Yardie's Revenge, and I remember that was something, like, a mission that I wanted to get onto mm. uh, with Jason. Iconic I remember them, picture. Yeah, yeah, isn't that beautiful? Fucking unbelievable. T telling all of, the time, of them yeah. there. Beautiful picture yeah. of Jason on there, and they're, they're all on that carriage. Uh, it was like a mission. I, you know, wish I was there, but you've got to give it, you know, it, it that that's it, and that's what happened, and mm. that's where the chips fell, and it's mm. a, that's, Probably one of my favourite pictures. Yeah, of me all too. Time of, I uh, think it's up there. Graph history. Yeah, that ladder propped up. They all all climbing. Yeah, just do a photo shoot. Iconic. Just it really yeah. is and for London. For London, UK graph. Uh, and you can see all the letters. Jason's mm. letters there. I don't mm. remember those because uh, they were the same letters that he did when he was uh, uh, writing Rel. Uh, mm. That he did at Acton. Uh, yard. That's crazy that he had so many. That's sick that he was relevant. Yeah, as well. one, two, three. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. and Gunja. Yeah, it that's was, so uh, sick. It it is pretty amazing, and I marvel all all the time that the pictures that are going up on Instagram of his work, yeah. uh, the you know coming from ACR into TU, yeah, yeah. and then him you know doing his thing in the later years. And I remember the last time I saw him. Uh, we were in the pit in Labbert Grove and he was with Cause and uh, when he walked up mm. to me, there was still that edge of a bit of fight or flight. It's interesting. Really? Jason had a really fucking beautiful, romantic, fucking amazing way where it was always, you're not quite sure how to take Jason, what was going to happen. And I was happy if we were if you wanted to take a swing at me or if you're mm. going to have a fight or it was really, it was very switch. Yeah. Um, but anyone knows Jason and, and, and that was the beautiful nature of, uh, of him. I, I, and I loved, loved him so much, man. I thought he's fucking amazing. It's because mm. he taps into my heart because I was yeah, yeah. a young boy, uh, mm. you know. Um, role model. Yeah, total role model. He was a year younger than me. And no, what was very sweet, he always used to really rate my art. And uh, and and mm. I used to think it's really kind of you, man. You're you're rating me, rating me, but you're the fucking man, you know. It's just like when you know, I said that bit in Sundance when we got apprehended, mm. Mm. when they heard that who he was, they were like, they were shitting themselves that they had 
kind of beaten. Mm. They're not beating them up, but they 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 took a swing. But um, but yeah, yeah. YDS, uh, uh, that was great. They were short, sharp, and sweet. But I was out of the scene then for probably about six months, and mm-hmm. you know, rest is history with mm-hmm. that. But um, but yeah, UBG st- uh, became a thing, and that is Stanford Brook. That's with Snow, Liza, Soda, Mayo, uh, Emace, uh, you know, Eliza. Yo, you remember these names real quick. Well, punk- all this, uh, and then Pack, most importantly, mm-hmm. uh, as well. And there's a few, <laughs> few, few, you know, a few others, and yeah. and that was great. And uh, and I talked about this before, and then our affiliation with Sub- uh, Subway Saints is yes. hold cl- that close to my heart wow. as well. Mm. Beautiful with me and us. Mm. And, and 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 you know you actually went into this we, we talked in the, at the exhibition and you know yeah oh, let's talk about the exhibition real quick because oh, obviously God, we did a mini doc on that as well yeah that was fantastic the one down at uh, um really uh, good. where was it it was um yeah, Fulham Town Fulham Hall. Town Hall. And it's called, yeah, in, in the it. Art of Age of Now or something. Incredible. Like it. It was a bit of a tongue... You loved it, right? Oh, it just... I lost myself in that. I it really st- was. I could have, if they were, if they were hiring for rent, I would have moved in there. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. It was just immaculate and beautiful and, and a timeless place. And uh, Ben really Moore was. curated that uh, uh, with Art Below. And early, early on. Uh, you guys crude. are holding. But, but, but before we go, you, you guys were like the, the 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 escorts of the, the establishment. This is how we got talking, right? On, yeah. on all the all of the facets of your career. Like, if you check the mini doc, you'll know. But yeah. you know, it was, it was you and a handful of characters. If you like to indulge, yeah, you know. yeah. It's uh, you know, code. Uh, came down. Uh, that was uh, amazing to see him, and it's a beautiful thing. I've got to talk about uh, Sean here, uh, Mo Sean Crude. What Big a up, fucking Mo amazing Sean. actor yes. and, and performer. Yes. And we caught up again after a long time. And uh, and I and I and I got a whisper of this Fulham mm. Town Hall uh, project, and I went, Sean, you got. Get involved in this, man. But this is a totally immersive yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And honestly, he killed it. Both of you did. We just got involved mm. and just was a part of it. And after the whole Joker thing as well, mm. and 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 you know, you know, like I said, my, uh, Crude is such an amazing performer. Mm. Uh, I was just like tagging behind there with him and let him sort of tread the way, really, because his one man show that he did. Uh, yeah, I've heard. You know and what? Saker came. Uh, yeah. yeah, you came, and 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 Can came. Oh, yeah. Can fucking Can beautiful one, show. Yeah, hold tight. Oh, uh, uh, I listened to that. That was amazing. Yeah. 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 Uh, Pic. Yeah, uh, we all watched that and marvelled over his show and it, just what a talent. Yeah. Huge talent. Like and and also perfect for the job of the uh, exhibition. Like, like you say, you just—it's almost like winding up and let him go. He just knows his—he knows his foot. He knows his what he knows. He's just—he's—he's. He's, I don't think he's even trained. He's a natural, That's natural incredible. talent, yeah. uh, like yourself. Mm. I don't think you, you. I mean, it's like graph. It's all, no one trains us in mm. this. It's a. It's a. It's a funny one, isn't it? Yeah. Because with it's a feeling. Talent. Talent is. I always find the word talent is an excuse for someone else. Like talent is is basic. When you call someone a talent, it, it kind of it kind of derails your um, gusto to to do mm. something. Do you know what I mean, that's, I'm learning that, something here. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm I think that, that but, but when there's likes of you and likes of Mo Sean and people like that, I just feel like it's more than a quote unquote talent. It's, yeah. it's it's a it's a mindset. It's a it's a gift. Like you're able to. I don't know where you channel that shit from. Yeah, but but everyone can channel it. It's just you guys just do it in your own. You just it's like you're handed you're handed a sketch and you fuck it up yourself. Yeah, and you do it your own way. Well, this is this is it, and um, this is why this is just amazing to see uh, how you work. It's got to come from the heart. It's got to come from the heart. Yeah, it's got to come from yeah the, the gusto yeah. The, the the gut. And I think you know I suppose you can't learn it. It's either you you either mm. just have to just you know like minded mm-hmm. and this is why you know what i'm saying is if you do this yourself man this is just incredible yeah you know i i just and and, and you know we we support each other and i suppose just one thing knocks off onto another and and that's how it survives it's probably like a kinetic energy this is it's, just, it's, it's, it's atom isn't it's it it's atom and with a, with an exhibition like um the fulham uh 
the, the Fulham exhibition, it what what it what it signalled was an advance. You know, over the years of of graph and particularly in the UK, where it's it's almost like the heads were in the room. It's like, and actually, you're looking at every. This was like three, four floors of a of of a hospital that was yeah. just dedicated to graffiti, street art, yeah. and urban arts. And Nothing was going to mm, go wrong there. No, it was just perfect. Nothing was going to go wrong there, and and anything thing just went slight slightly. Slightly awkward. I don't know. Mm. Maybe sort of minor theft or or, or just something that uh, it, it would pull straight straight away mm. because it, it, the force was too strong. Yeah. And and you know when we we did our uh, Alex uh, Patterson, you know, like the orb did the thing at the end, the uh, final part. You know, oh, the, yeah. our our I wind up I'd party. Gone, I wish I'd gone there. Uh, it, but you know it, the scene. You, yeah. You, you missed something, but you didn't, because mm -hmm. you know the scene. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But it was wonderful because no one forgot how to fucking dance. <laughs> no one forgot <laughs> how to fucking God. party again. It was two years. So it was yeah. the, the first thing, yeah, that's right. and everyone just went into it, and it was just a, a, a wonderful thing. Oh, and God, that's uh, good. It, it was great. It was just, uh, it, it was just one, it's just one of those things. But thanks for mentioning that. That was a good, yeah, good, was good thing. And I'm hopefully to mention other people that are involved. So many people involved. Oh, you check out Me the mini doc. We got the mini doc, so you can do it now. That's right. Yeah, because you really did. And this is where we come from. Because we brought, brought you, you, you. you Broke down in the mini doc a great uh, synopsis of what the, the the show is about and expressing like levels in which you'd because you've obviously come from an era and the, the the way that you the journey that you've taken and when I walked into the room of you in the exhibition spot you say come on in make it your home this is yours as much as mine you know this is this is my oh. this is my contribution this is my yeah. gift. Thank you. I, I, I tell you, I, I appreciate that. It was um, what it was is Ben offered me the room a couple of times, but uh, I was trying to get my act together and trying to get because it was quite a big feat. You had to, you know, it was a couple of handfuls of art you had to load it up with. I had to logistically think about how I was going to do this. Mm. And uh, but two nice artists uh, were in there before, but they they had to go because it was they thought it was haunted. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, we're haunted souls. Mm. I can walk in there. They'll sit on my shoulder. Yeah. I, I don't <laughs> entertain them. We're part of the same thing. Anyway, it was yeah. inviting. The ghost invited me in uh, and, and, and we settled there. Yeah. And it was all of our home and anyone is our... And it was beautiful to see uh, Beautiful Fuel. He came and sat down. He, he had, had an injury and, and he sat down and he was... Bless in, him, yeah. Big it, up Fuel, man. Yeah. And at that time I went, fuck, I said everyone else is... Fucking partying! How come you're in my room? And I just thought, and it, you know, mm. it's my room's your room, and mm. uh, and it's like when Pat came down, it's like, well, Sean, mm -hmm. it, uh, that was his changing room, and 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 it was just. Uh, but it comes down to uh, two wonderful set stylists and a photographer that I work with, uh, Dominic uh, Blackmore oh, Dominic, and Sarita, yeah. Sarita, uh, old type. stylists, and. And and lovely Martin Fitton and Amanda mm -hmm. uh, Fitton. These people I work with, and they do with like Selfridges, Harrods, display. I do interiors for. This is kind of going what I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. Really, Laura Ashley next, and all of these sort of magazine shoots. Uh, I think uh, uh, that room I styled. Mm, you did style it. I styled yeah. it. I'm a, I'm a set. I'm I'm a set builder, yeah. but I picked up on, on on bits and also in the film work that I've I've done in in the past with the art department mm. and uh, we could pick up we've gone for fucking ages like Doctor Strange two done some graphing, uh, seen some envy tags there come back on, in the film come on some lovely uh, yeah all the all the all, all the boys old and fucking wow. yeah. It's mm -hmm. uh, no, it's it's brilliant. That's a small world as well with the old uh, uh, graphers in the film industry with set building carpentry mm -hmm. with standard the... dude. There's so many of them yeah. in the so infiltrating yeah. different part yeah. Yeah. departments. Careful, any props and departments that's doing any of that business, there's yeah. always a graph right. We're we fucking yeah. tagging the departments all. <laughs> yeah, all the time. Oh, uh, also big up people with documents because he was there at the exhibition spot as well. When um, he kind of introduced, he goes, "Do you want to come to this thing?" I was like, "Yeah, cool." Well, we went there. I had no expectations other than. It's going to be awesome, and yeah. your your set most definitely took it to that level. And I'm curious because when I, when I just for people that haven't seen the mini dog, when we step in and we do see this, it's almost like a journey of your career. And like you say, you've done all this acting and and installations. It's yeah. installations. It, it, isn't it? Installations. I'm a frustrated actor. Yeah. I like to have always tried that, but I never had enough 
confidence. But because of the Instagram and everything, I, I feel like that can be my own little sort of micro. Oh, I like it. Audience. Yeah, and, I mean. and any, anyone likes it, anyone thinks I'm an idiot. But I, I through now being get, coming to 50, I've, I've, I've sort of, I don't know, growing into confidence. Mm. But hiding behind, maybe probably this is the irony behind the mask. It's interesting behind my art. And this is what I did back in the day when I was 13. I hid behind, trying to be all right, the best I could maybe at my art. It's like, yeah, Paul's, you know, done, whatever. But fucking all right, actually. It's quite up. But, and, 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 and with niceties and being, trying to be nice, you know, and not be a, uh, not say be a threat, but I don't want to, you know, try and sort of, you know, fucking mug anybody or, you know, hmm. piss anybody off. It's just, uh, I think, you know, it's, 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 it's difficult. It's, there's different ways to survive in this world. We've never done this before. And, mm. uh, but it's interesting you saying about that, about, mm. you know, the, 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 the acting side. Mm. Oh, uh, you know, I think the world's a great big stage and we're, we're all doing this. Mm. And uh, I think we're all acting. But the acting aspect of it, me working in the film industry, is that is an incredible, you know, uh, uh, talent, you know, because we can all, you know, pretend and... Uh, tend to be something and uh that's why i wanted to sit with this you know the batman mask i could have hid behind that all the way through mm. but this to act yourself is probably the, the most difficult thing and mm. to be natural it takes a lot of um, exercising doesn't it it's so does, it's a demon it? it's a demon that you've got to try and it is and i don't know what it is mm. it's a chameleon i mean animals do it it's fit. It's actually it's scary. Fit. It's just, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah. It's just like being yourself. And, you know, with this, you've got to forget about this. I've got to forget about this. I'm trying to speak objectively. Mm. Uh, but interestingly, yeah, lives. yeah. I think, I th- I, and I feel you there. Because even with the podcast, um, you know, three, 350 plus in, I never thought for a second that I would get that far, obviously. But I also, I didn't realise that, you know, editing this shit myself and, you know, going running through it, you you really do. You expose yourself. I think all of us do. I think whenever we put something creative out there, yeah. we expose ourselves, and um, the, the the cream always rises to the top, no matter how much you try and disguise it. Well, and you're and you're so t- so right. And gra- a graph, uh, your uh, music. Uh, you know, there's been lots of examples of that in, in film and uh, in real life where, where things play out. It's like you start off. I'm here as an artist, so you start off as a toy. Mm-hmm. And people will say you're a toy mm-hmm. or you're a shit. Out and out, yeah. And you, you're either, then going to jump mm. and, 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 and leave it, or you're going to keep prevailing and, you're gonna, and you'll get better. And that's, it's just so beautiful now that I'm at an age where I can see where people have just, you know, they, when they, I can actually see a nice timeline. Now, when I was younger, I, I couldn't because we're all learning together. Mm. But now I see when I'm on the train, you know, like 15 years ago, I see guys still writing and the styles come on. I just think, wow, it's a beautiful mm. thing to see that play out. It, it is, really it? is. It is. And, 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 wow. uh, and that's it. Mm. That's a champion. Mm. You stick with it and you keep going. Journey of the sperm, isn't it? Really? It really is. And it's, it's it, it, what it is in that shows you that you've got your fight and you're, you're, you know, you're going to prevail. And then, you know, I think you just got to do your own thing. You can't just do it just because someone said you were shit and you're going to prove them that you're not. You've you got to forget to about yeah. all these people. And that's yeah. what it's, you were saying yeah. earlier on. It's, a, it's, it's from the heart. Mm. You know? it's, for, it's, from the, it's from the gut. And, uh, and it's beautiful to see. I love to see it like when like the GFS boys, like mm. Tents, Obey, mm. all those guys... You know, plot. Oh yeah. You know, but, I've yeah. seen those guys go and grow. Incredible, and, yeah. And, and it's beautiful. The RT lot, town. Oh, you know, vibes, vibes. vibes. Huge. See how they, they, they. And I'm only talking mm. about those guys because they're kind of similar sort of southwest. Yes, uh, that's and, right. and, and and beautiful sort of like holding up the torch. Mm. And uh, ATG round here as well. I mean, they had a whole clearance of you know panic. Acid, yeah. Oh god, yeah. Snore. ATG, yeah, <gasps> but absolutely brilliant. Yeah, with the, Good era. With the intro mm. and. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, it's 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 good. It's it's it is is amazing to see, and uh, and but I think what it is is integrity, and just it's, you feel like you know whatever you're doing in this in this world, that's it. you're doing good, then you're do, you're doing all right. Or Pash. and if you're not, then just pull yourself straight and just because at the end of the day, you now I've got a son, 
uh, I've got, you know, even though what I'm doing now and talking about my history, you know, you know there's kind of life's lessons and I'm still here and, and breathing and, and talking to mm-hmm. a, a great person like you and talking out into the podcast to, to, to you know, the amazing audience. Uh, but it's just, you know, never judge, you know. No mm. one knows, you know, who anyone is really until... Mm. It's, uh, yeah. Perhaps, uh, perhaps passion as a as a guide because... The f- when you were saying about people that have progressed and go on, you know, we all jump jump into people's careers timelines yeah. at any given. I mean, you guys, you're from the mid '80s. I'm jumping in at the, from the arse end of the '90s. Drax, that's who I thought of when you said, uh, "Oh, Jack, I've got lovely memories because, of Drax." Because he's he's yeah. he's just continued and and there's got to be there's, there's got to be the past. You've got to love something to do it. Beautiful. I mean, I, mean? I, I just love in Cade North. You know, when he's yes, posting yeah, up those. Beautiful. And people with documents as well posting some heavy... Yeah, lovely old yeah. stars. You see, that's how I remember Drax's tags. And I was just saying, like, just how it's all mm. changed. And just, and and, and I right. remember being at Hammersmith, so I think it was 87, mm. uh, with that, we busted into Hammersmith Yard, seeing the whole train there and getting, you know, Drax needed to desperately get pictures of his... Uh, I'm sure it's 87. I was, mm. I'm sure it was the first major hit. Of uh, of of the underground. Now, I've got to talk about um, Don Ice Three as well. That's what I was saying okay. earlier on. I went, oh, go into my website because that's where all my source pictures are. Because I get mixed up with the other one. And I remember Ganja coming because I wrote Don before mm-hmm. Don Ice Three. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ice Three was fucking the most amazing, amazing yeah. artist. Yeah, yeah. You know when I was writing He's Don. Right, yeah. But Jason, I remember came in Ganja. And he just said, "Fuck." Ice Free started to write Don. I was thinking, oh, I'm just going to carry on. But mm. he was so like, you know, I was a, I was toy, you know, I was just getting up. But he pulled out some amazing. He did a beautiful uh, uh, panel, uh, mm. and he did a, a, a beautiful whole car with prime yeah, yeah, act. Yeah, and, and it gets confused with me sometimes, and I always declare it, and I don't ever want to get that confused. But you know. Uh, yeah, you know, I was I was before, and um, Ice Free is is a don to mm. me. I mean, I was going to, uh, you know, Labbert Grove and seeing, you know, Judge Judge Ice Free stuff, and and I think it only lasted, you know, a very short while. But um, I think always anything I do, if it's even a book interview or anything like that, or like a always to be always have to do that because. There's no graph law. No, that's right. It's true, and and also the amount of people that I mean, you know, we all have our real names, and it gets and those dropped get in. everywhere. Yeah, and I feel should, like, yeah. oh, I wish I did do that, but I didn't. Didn't didn't do that, but I did that. Anyway, like I said, it's not you know a big deal, and there's always a double, you know, of or, or, of anybody. Yes, God, I was just thinking we've got we so much to talk about. Yeah, we? no, it's mad. It's very very. Uh... Okay, but like yeah. I said, you're the man, and I'm really honoured. Man, to let's talk about. By you. Well, I tell you what, let's talk about. Let's talk about your style. While we're on the subject, while we're on the yes. subject of, of of differentiating. Yes. Uh, let's get into the style. Or portraiture and stuff, maybe. Yeah, man. Art, yeah, I, I think the street art stuff because what's it, you know, as because I think it's one and the same. You yeah. said in a previous uh, segment here that the installation factor that was definitely inherent in uh, in what I've what I'm seeing these days in your yes. work, um, the stuff that you're doing for different brands and people, but also in the exhibition space, even the earlier stuff, it was, a, it, I don't know, what your new stuff is doing now is signalling uh, that you can int- you can integrate your own style in with modern day uh, installations and, and in a contemporary way. Yeah. That's what it's saying. Well, it's just trying to, you know, people, people say to me, Paul, you know, you're not fucking going to earn a living from what you do. You know, you're an artist now. You're at an age. And, you know, it's like I said about the integrity, about when money comes into my passion, because I've been doing it for, for such a, an early early age. And with the graph aspect, it's um, it's about getting up. Mm-hmm. And and that really, you know, if I could... I was never big enough so I could transfer that into a product. Uh, I could sell try and sell T-shirts and things like that. You know, that could be something that I, you know, I could mm. do. But regards to being an artist, uh, I got into a portraiture and that was something that was pre-graph, really. Portraiture always fascinated me. Interesting. Really did. And that's, Explain that for people that, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's... Uh, well, C215 was were, were sort of a similar sort of time. Uh, I, was, I was kind of bashing it out in, in London and... Uh, 
and he was doing it in France, and we sort of adopted a very similar style. Uh, uh, I just, I just got into portraiture, basically. It was from, like I was saying, the Banksy Tunnel uh, uh, exhibition that, that Elk and all the guys put on, and I just looked at it and went, well, if I'm going to try and cut the mustard in the art game, I've got to try and be at its own game. That's mm -hmm. why I created this. I thought that was a rival oh, talk yeah, to Banksy's well. rat. There we go. I'm just showing it on screen if you're not watching and listening. Uh, it's, it's a very simple thing. Yeah, it's, it's a, a silhouette. single layer. Yeah. Silhouette, absolutely. Sil no. A silhouette of a, of a gentleman with a uh, top hat and a, 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 tap. a tap on his head. It's, it's Victorian a, waterways, yep. banks invest in water companies. There's loads wrapped up in there. Beautiful. It's a, it's, a, it's an economy piece. I've got a and tile thought, over there with a very similar thing as well. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, very dear to my heart. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it, it, it's, I just thought, how can I beat this? This fucking Banksy at his own bloody game. <laughs> nah, this kind of like this street art mm. thing, which is just like everyone's hating. Mm. It was like, fuck Banksy and all this. And I mm. thought, no, nah, this is just art, man. This is just art. I just thought, so I just jump on it. So it's quite interesting. So when I was getting onto the street art scene, the street art scene were thinking, who the fuck is he? He's an old graffer. <laughs> Now, when I was getting how very the, dare you? <laughs> yes, and when I'm getting onto <laughs> when I'm getting into the craft scene, it's like you fucking got to the street art scene. So yeah, I was yeah, caught yeah. in the middle. Anyway, uh, best best place to be, and uh, uh, it, it's I just it's just a journey, and I just thought about me. It was a battle. I thought well, this is the challenge. new thing. It's yeah. a challenge. I thought you know like a creative battle. We love that. Exactly. This is what it's all about, and this is what. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Go on. <sighs> the whole Ukraine, Russia. Oh, that's terrible. It's fucking. It's fucking. It, it's 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 a nightmare. And do you see how the the sport world's got brought into it? Football was like mm. little mini wars, right? Mm. We're battling it out for mm. points, mm. and it's like now we're you know what you know not getting involved. We can't. You know, they can't be part of it anymore. And it's just like, it was what I'm saying, sport, art, battle. You know, it's all, it's how yeah, it transfers. Yeah. Athleticism of all. Absolutely. That. And it's, yeah. and, and, and I just thought, well, this is the comp. The competition's up. So, okay, I was a bit younger then. So, I was I'll be 35. Uh, and I thought, okay, right, I got that. Start getting that up. This is what, this is the protocol. Mm -hmm. Get a little thing going up, and little image. And then I started looking at portraiture and looking at somebody like Finn Dack doing some fucking amazing yeah, artist. Big up Finn Dack, yeah. Dank. Yeah. Amazing oh fucking artist. Yeah, yeah. These are Absolutely. all friends of it. This is we grew we grew up together in the street art. That's world. crazy. It really is. We we we've done collabs, we've done the old kind of like exhibitions together. And I've seen the guys grow and See, that's grown. a culture, by the way, guys. This is a culture all in this. This is like an ecosystem where a lot of you guys who are early on the street art scene. You've, you've forged your way up. This it it, is thing, it was like a. It's, it's, it's a bit like, you know, it's like the graph. It's the old school yeah. uh, scene. And um, and everything's really crude. Uh, you know, crude, Mo Sean. Um, and um, it's crude, crude. You want an answer? You want an opinion? Speak to crude. You're going to be the crudest fucking point we'll of get, view. We'll get Mo Sean on. Trust me, man. Uh, <laughs> But it's 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 it it really were crude stencils and uh, and then we refined, refined, mm. refined, 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 and then I brought in what I knew from graph. So I'm getting kind of like even a fat cap. I just fucking blur it out and I mix the medium. So mm. I'm just kind of bring that in. I go do have to, you know, come back to the graph and do and crack some letters out and mm. and, and and get into that because it's my world. But. I can't do trains. I can't do track sides anymore. Mm. Uh, that's, you know, I can do Leak Street all fucking day long doing it, but it's not where it belongs uh, mm. for me. I, I love Leak Street. It's, it's all amazing. But mm -hmm. when I'm doing it, I just feel like, nah, this should be on a train or it should be on track sides. Oh, why am I fucking bothering? Because I should be jumping the fence, walking the tracks and... That's an art in itself, yeah. Doing, executing the piece yeah. and then getting out of that situation yeah. and getting back home. You know, this... this 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 tight 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 graph. I, I you know, there's nothing uh, nothing wrong with it. It's just not for me, mm. and uh, that's why I'll go with the fat caps or 
thing caps or whatever, but I'll just make sure it just only lasts, you know, for an hour and a half or an hour, because really it's it's fast art. And it's there's interesting. nothing wrong with it, but that's. But even I have conduct. I've I I do that the same with my street art. So you go quick. I go in, mm. do it. But with this, with the street art, obviously you can do the prep with the stencils. Now those these stencils are just uh, see. There was a uh, the computer printout vector lines where you do. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, three point six point. You can break it right down. That's I've right. always been a hand held. I choose where I cut. It's it's handcraft, handcrafted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah for real, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, is it art by numbers? I, no, I don't no, think no. it is. It's no, just, it's a decision. It's, 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 it's a, a decision. It's a, it's a gift and it's a decision, isn't it? It's a decision where I cut. Which is but incredible. Here, yeah, well, it, 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 you know, I've made loads of mistakes. I look at some of my work and this is what I'm saying about the toy aspect. Mm. You've got to keep going. Mm. You, you stop. Mm. You, it's like rugby. Yeah, yeah. It's like football. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting fucking hit too much. I can't do this. And I couldn't do that. No, no. <laughs> Not for I got one in the balls money, in rugby yeah. and that was it. I fucking yeah, had yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I know how it is. <laughs> yeah, and so... It, and you it's, stop. It's a journey of the sperm. Some people make it, some people don't. And, and you know, just going back to what you were saying now, I, I, the decision you make on a cut, on a, you must look at certain stencils, early stencils, going, fuck, why did I cut there? Oh, why did I do that It's embarrassing. It's really hard, embarrassing. isn't it? That's and tough love, thinking, that is. Wow, I would have given up then mm-hmm. if it wasn't the, like the journey So what like keeps us saying. going then? So what keeps us going? I don't think... I think it's... Blind it's, dogged it's, ambition, is it? No, no you've, you've got, got it in one. It's... it's it, 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 the, you know, you, you have, have no choice. choice. <laughs> I, I think that's the point. Yeah. Do, you Do you think that's, that's a social thing? Is that, that a social, social thing? thing? Is it because, because you feel like... Because like, I, I often feel, feel like I'm more... That keeps you going. That keeps you going. That's like the calm. But at the end of the day, it's a bit deeper than that. It is a bit deeper than that. That only lasts for so long. Do you reckon it's the installation that was put inside your head when your mum used to drill in the authoritative... The authoritative... Yeah, because yeah. I, I feel like that, that with my my parents. What star sign are you? I'm, I'm Pisces. Pisces. I'm Leo. Leo. Yeah, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. I don't know. The, I don't know too, too much. Yeah, yeah I, 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 think I think like the the the, the moon moon's, moon's pole. pole. I, I think, think it has. It has something. something. Mm. I, it, the, the older, older I, I get, the more I do see traits. And, and I, I think, think in the, the, the cold, cold time, summer, summer babies, winter, winter babies, babies, all of this, this it just... It plays, that, that plays out. Like just some, there is something going on. I don't know what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, don't I don't know what it is, but I was never really... I don't read up on it and read the kind of, like, the literature that, that is pumped out, you know, to read up on star signs and what's happening. But there is... Uh, I mean, if it can move oceans... Fuck right, yeah. It, it can, can move, move, you know, yeah, it can move. So we're all water, yeah, baby. We're all water. Absolutely. So, so uh, it's, it's something that drives you. I mean, like, like the intricacy and uh, tenacity in, in some, some people, people and, and, and you won't get it in others, but they have other strengths. strengths. So I, don't I don't know. know. There is there's something, something, uh, there there's something going, going on, but I think there is, you have no choice. It is just the way you're built. And that's why it's the big question. What makes you do it? You can't answer it. There isn't a day there, that goes by where I don't think about it. And I know it sounds self-absorbed, and often is. But it, there are some people that you can be around that can influence. Yes. But if you're still into these people, that clearly, you know, there's people have been around me that I haven't seen eye to eye with. So, But they're still here. There's no point. No, oh, right. oh, well, they're, they're, they're not around. OK, well, I understand. They're, they're, they're not around. Got you, got you. But, but, no, but it's interesting you saying that, because you can still, you know, they say about the toxic people, you know, get out of their playground and stuff, but I've been really accommodating with uh, some people and I'll still be in their playground, because I think, you know, you know, life is short, and uh, people, uh, you know, deserve a chance, you know, and, uh, and, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's an interesting, interesting one. It's, it's an interesting, interesting one. one. I think, you know, you, know, you just... I think, I think hob- finding a hobby is really important. 100%. And you can... And you can that, that can have a little bit to do with the job. But I think you've got to have, you know, like these three, four things going on. Relationship, good friends, job, hobby. Have these 
at any cool balance. balance. Well, I've heard about that. That's, 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 that's not, not an easy, easy, that's that's not easy task. task. No, no, it's not. not. But, but find, find it, I think. Uh, but I, I don't know. know. It's, it's helped me. me. Mm, it's, it's helped me. So, like with my art, I don't let it infiltrate my work too much. But I could earn money from it. But that means you love it more. Because you love it, compromises it a little bit. Where... Because I've, I've seen, seen it happen. happen. We, we start, start bashing, bashing it out. out. Mm. And, and then it comes up, becomes heartless. Mm. And, and I, I just, just think, well, I'm not happy about, about what I'm producing. It's, it's just, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a really, no, no one, one knows, knows the answer. answer. It's, it's a fine, fine balance, balance and, and it's, it's very great. great. Sorry, we touched on this before. No, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I don't know. Because when I think of banks, I'm still feeling my way. Yeah, no, it's amazing. It's amazing. No, this is a conversation I feel like most people would like to be listening to and having with any. One, one of the, the you, like, like yourself, who is a, a well-balanced, creative, creative, creatively driven person, there's, there's a few, a few other, other people, people that I'd like to kind of salute from a level of, you know, like Banksy, um, I guess Calvin Harris, I guess, and I, and I, and yeah. I don't expect everybody to know Calvin Harris, what Calvin Harris's background is, but yeah. the, the work rate on these people, right? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Like I said, Banksy's, Banksy's work. work. It's a fucking genius. Genius. He's a model, you know. He's, my role model, model and, and, uh, and I remember like, like, like with the whole, whole uh, Robo Banksy, Banksy thing, thing and, and, uh, uh, and I remember we were doing a, we were doing, I don't know if it was a tribute for someone else and Robo was there, but, but we were doing, we did a jam in, in, with, with Insane and, and a PIC, Chucky, uh, Robo, Dose, oh, loads of people Big up there. them man, all oh, day. Oh God, God there were so many people there, Kilo, there's, there's <gasps> really, <gasps> so it was a great day, day. came to Abbey Road, came to Rise, and I remember, I remember, I remember like, I mean, sort of later years I got to know Robo really, and I remember going up to him, going, fucking hell, great to meet you man, I said, sorry for all this stencil shit that I'm doing, this is early on, you know, he goes, what are you talking about? Because I, I love it. I'll be playing, playing around, around with all this kind of like creative, kind of, uh, you know, like, like mixed medium thing. I was like, apologise to the king and grand. Mm. Mm. And, uh, mm. But he was like saying, stop fucking being stupid, stupid, you know, you know, we're artists, artists and stuff. And that's, 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 that's lovely. So that's why, you know, as a grapher, you know, you know, Robo was an incredible, to me, I mean, he was too, he was larger than life back in the day. So meeting him at Morgay or something like that would be like, Fuck, I don't, I don't know, know who I'm around, around that, that we could, you know, you know but, you know, Ganja was a mate, mate, but I wasn't really rolling well with anyone, I don't think, like, you know, you know people that, you know, with Dose, with, 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 with Rock Hard, uh, uh, guys, and, and that's, that's why, why you saw the lovely Rev tribute I did, because he was the closest thing to WD for me and ITC, he's a beautiful character, and the last time I saw him, it must have been 20 years ago, and it was a little pop promo we were doing in Southfields, he was coming doing a bit of DJing, I set, it was like my early days of set building, getting into the art department, and and we built this, it's a music video, and he was doing some DJing, I had to build an elevator. Lift. Escalator. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Elevator kind of lift. Just get up the there. Girls. Just get up there and shut up you. <laughs> <laughs> the, the girls were dancing and he was doing DJing. It was all kind of like, you know, it was probably wow. like 2000 and something. I can't remember. Mm. But but yeah, and then doing that piece, I just thought, yeah, he was a hippie. He, we yeah. were fucking hippies back then. Quite bohemian. Yeah, yeah. But totally. And I just thought, so much, so much, you know, love there, and uh, so I was talking about the WD and sort of Robo mm. and the whole Banksy sort of connection, and uh, yeah, uh, re respect to the all, all those guys, and uh, you know, I mm. I'm a massive uh, oh. a fan of. Uh, but I, but I will say this it. though, um, I, I think I think you you also you're attentive. Do you know what I'm saying? As a as a as a as a human being, I think you're very you you you're attentive, and you you. I think that shows in your your output. I think there's a there's a kindness in giving, and I do feel like you. Just my humble no, opinion. I, I appreciate that. No, I'd, I'd um, yeah. I'll give you, you know, my second last drop of blood. Really, I mean, but I'm just saying how fucking great I am. I've just it's my curse, <laughs> my star sign. Yes. yes. <laughs> no, but it's it, it's just I don't know. It's very lovely for you to, to say that, and likewise. And uh, every time I I meet you, man, is mm. just uh, and like I just 
said, you know, everything that you do for the scene, you know, you're, you're documenting this for, for, for everybody. Uh, it's beautiful. So much it? knowledge. It's fun. And again, just going back to what we were saying before about uh, it should be effortless. The thing that you love doing should just be effortless. It, it, it is the Drax phenomena of like, you know, yes. the mid 80s to now. Yes. He wouldn't be doing it for any other reason than no, than No, he's absolutely. Just totally and that's why it's so uh, bad. And, and going back to, 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 to Drax as well, I mean, God, I've got, I've got so much fucking love for him, man. It's, uh, mm. we, were, we were like, you know, babies at fucking in the Hammersmith for so many years ago. And, uh, but, you know he's affiliated obviously to so many uh, uh people and uh yeah. and he's like i said it's 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 effortless uh yeah. he's always around mm. and uh and yeah no, it's uh yeah it's 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 really it's it's really amazing i mean i've got a i've got to say um i had some weird dreams last night can i talk to you about them yeah <laughs> I'm <laughs> about to get deep. You, know, oh, you thought it was deep? It's about to get <laughs> deeper. It's a, how's your dreams lately been? Fucked up, man. <laughs> Fucking My man. sleep has been off the retcon. What you got? So we've got, I'm, we've got, I'm we are now looking on the phone. We've done ice three writing Don. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking boring. We've done this. We've done Mo Sean yeah. crude. Yeah, that's fucking amazing. Oh, I'll tell you what, we've got, we skirted around a bunch of chapters here, my friends. And he's on soon. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, mm. oh, idea. And SBS. Yeah, talked about those guys. Mm. Yeah. Um, Sean Rosa, Hold you tight. know, those, yeah, beautiful people. Yeah, let's get rough. some shout outs going. Come on, big shout outs um, to everybody that from, from the 80s to now. Run for cover crew. Mm. I've got to talk to her. You've got to get this and Sarah on. Music, you'll love them. Cap Come 69, on, feuds, 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 mm. brother. Uh, you know, there's just, there's just so many people. Mm. Mm. There's just so many people. Uh, Rick. R E K. Q. Q. There's What's two... a fucking artist? Hold on. Rick. Are you talking about fucking stopist, Rick? Or are we talking about the other Rick? <sighs> Brighton Rick? Oh my God. Cat Skills. Music Man. R yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, and Skint Records. And uh, absolutely. Fucking legendary. What an artist. Follow him. I love this I can guy. Tell you get a story. him on. Please get him on. I will. Shall I tell you Please get I, him I can on. Tell you, I can tell you a story. He was the first person that ever came to my youth centre in Sussex. I was about 15. No way. And, and he was one of the people that, you know, volunteer come in and he brought his sampler and all that stuff. And me and maybe like two or three other people were just spellbound. And I remember wreck. And I remember later down the line going down to Brighton and seeing fuck it stop is like big fucking wreck and she and do do do. She and, won. Woo! Love up. Uh, I will definitely get wrecking. Yeah, wow, I'd yeah. Love to. All those guys. I love these at the side thirty two. These yes. are people that when I moved from Barnes, like Barnes, more like you know, south of the river from Hammersmith. That's where we just pop over and then we are in we're we're in West London. But when I had to move up to sort of like Hampton, I met a whole new bunch of cats mm. and they were Fucking something else. Side thirty two, the run for our cover crew, like I was just right, saying. Right. I the BBC crew, you know, all of the, that was a whole different thing. And I just thought, wow, it's just it gets it gets out. Obviously it does, because mm. it's like, you know, part tourism's doing this Ooh, thing, you know. New or, flesh for old. I mean the music Keith, thing is so oh yeah. God, yeah, it's so connected, mm. isn't it? Mm, Keith Hopewell, he's been on the podcast. I mean, and you know, and I love the trend. I love it when Graph music, music graph, yes. street culture merges like that. You, you guys are those those. Um, well, this is it. The trusted, thing. You, yeah. You, yeah. you know, some of us. I, I grab the uh, the the art aspect, but grab both. Mm. Grab, you know, like Abel. You know, it's music mm. man. Mm. You know, dancer, grapher. You know, this snatch. This, big up snatch, of course. Snatch. Yeah. You know, mm. all of the J. Dell, you mm. know, fucking talented, talented people. Mm. And, um, you know, it's just so much, yeah, with the, it's some, two bites of the cherry. That's right. And they, proficient. Yeah. And DJ Regal as well, mm. as well part of the wise man. And, and Rich, you know, of course. Yeah, Rich. I mean, these, we're talking about legendary people here that have really made a mark at Goldie. <laughs> You know, people that have made a real mark in that, in, in the, the, the uh, 
yeah, they're just the, yeah. the, 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 the landscape of street culture. That, that, yeah, that, Gold, that Goldie's, Goldie's very special, man. Mm. Very special. Uh, you know, he's, he's a fucking national treasure. And one thing mm. I, is, is a beautiful thing uh, uh, with Goldie, with many things that he's done, is, uh, you know, that, that Bowie interview. <laughs> Mm. They, did, they talked was... music and art. That's when he was it's doing. It's just the, bonkers, man. Right? Times when he was doing when when Bowie's going into the kind of little bit of it. I don't know. We call it trip hop yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or something. But yeah, the day men's going and a couple of things going. Yeah, you all know more about space. What... Hello, space boy, kind of thing. That yes, kind of area, wasn't it? Yeah. and jump. Yes, and all of those so, uh, mm. tunes that had started having a bit of a you know like a fucking beat to it, and uh, guy, yeah. and and you see Goldie in those interviews, and he's he's really you know he's younger, and they're just talking art and music. Mm. And it's something that I'd love to have met Bowie. Oh, that cool. is all. I'd like to join think the that... fucking club. Yeah, but I think we'd all. I think all of us, um, but because he was such a magpie of in in, in different cultures, I almost feel like my, the little ego inside me says, oh, "If I'd met him." I wonder if I would have contributed a direction or a change of thought or an idea or something that would have spawned yeah. a whole new fucking facet it's to his interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you would have, you would have easily like just gone in and go, well, well, well you like that? Check this out. Yeah. And then you, yeah. and then I love, I love introducing new eyes and ears to yeah. our world. It's the best fucking yeah. thing, right? It is, it is, and there's so much more to learn. I, and like, like you said, uh, you know, I could have learned more uh, with um, some of the people that you know I possibly could have met. But, uh, but yeah, we just got to keep going, man. And hopefully, I'll be doing this with you in ten years' time. And we'll come on, yeah, really hell nice, yeah. Man. Like I said, like I said, it's it's it, you know the Wikipedia. I've, it's endless. Like the work that you've done, I've got to keep bouncing it back to you. No, so I'm not interviewing you, but I just want to say well done. With what oh, you're doing thank you, brother. With your music. Thank you, thank what you. What you're doing here. Yeah, man, it's all about this, man. And uh, this this audience here, they, they already know the Don, man. The fact that you're here, it's almost like, a, you know, the kid's, the kid's doing okay, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Don, man, it's been a pleasure, my thank brother. Thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for coming through, man. We'll... And bringing all this awesomeness. Listen, if you don't know about Don, where do they have to go? Tell them where you got to go. What's the website? PaulDonSmith.co.uk, engineered by my beautiful girlfriend Laura. She's put it together because I can't. I don't know what yeah, expression yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Box my way out of a fucking <laughs> brown paper bag. That's a whole other podcast. That... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Yeah, that's the website. Yeah, man. Big love to the kids. Big love to the missus. Hey, look, we're out like it was out of fashion. All right. Don't talk to anyone. I wouldn't. All right. You stay lucky, people. Don't forget caring and sharing. Till next week. Easy. Peace. Mm.